Here's a puzzle. A room has 100 bulbs, each with a switch, all turned off. Then 100 people walk in one by one. Person one flips every switch, turning all bulbs on. Person two flips every second switch, turning off even numbered bulbs. Person three flips every third switch, and so on. After all 100 people have taken their turn, which bulbs stay on? Let's take bulb 12. Will it be on or off? Any person whose number is a factor of 12 will toggle it. These are persons 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. 1 turns it on, 2 off, 3 on, 4 off, 6 on, and finally 12 turns it off again. Now take bulb 15. Its factors are 1, 3, 5, and 15. 4 toggles, so it also ends up off. Both bulbs were toggled an even number of times, leaving them off. So bulbs with an even number of factors always end up off. But what if a bulb has an odd number of factors? If it gets toggled three times, it stays on. Same for five. But factors usually come in pairs. Like 12 has these factor pairs, 15 has these, 60 has these. All of them have an even number of factors. Can any number ever have an odd number of factors? That happens only when a factor pairs with itself. Take four. Its factor pairs are one, four, and two, two. Since two pairs with itself, it's counted once, making the total odd. Similarly, for nine, three pairs with itself, for 16, four does, and so on. So, perfect squares have an odd number of factors. Let's check bulb 81, the perfect square of nine. It has five factors. Person one turns it on, three, off, nine, on, 27, off, and 81, finally on. So it stays on. The same happens with bulbs. One, four, nine, 16, 25, and so on. These 10 bulbs positioned at perfect square numbers stay on while all others turn off.